Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Factory Speed Build number 5. Um, I'm really hoping to finish the Rainbow Factory during this episode. Um, I'm filming on Halloween so I thought it appropriate to do it during a thunderstorm. But, you know, you won't see it for a couple more days still. So I hope y'all had a good Halloween and let's get started.
and we are done. And by done, I mean done, done. Rainbow Factory is uh, completed, and we can finally move on to other projects in Cloud City. Um, everything now has controls on the inside here. For example, this one operates the main pump for the completed rainbow to the vats. And in here, I have the controls for this machine, where, I, where it all started. That combines the individual colors into the rainbow. This is all, this room is all um, skylight lit, as it always has been. And I think it turned out pretty well. These, uh, the middle things, I call compressors, they're all hooked up with minimum redstone exposed. And I'm pretty proud of them. Jump up, jump up, jump up, okay. And there we go. Working to condense the individual colors. Side note, fire hydrant. Front note. We have a color sort. This one brings the finished, the uh, extracted colors down from the upper room, um, where we'll go to in a little bit, and it sorts them out into the um, various compressors. And once it goes through this last one here, it'll start over again on the blue. Going upstairs. This is where most of the work took place. I've added 15 new offices. Uh, they are all individually furnished. Uh, most of them, anyway. Picture frames. Uh, none in here. Let's see. Are they picture frames or item frames? Yeah. Yeah. Item frames made decorating office spaces very easy. Some are larger than others. Ah, uh, uh, crud. Your O'Brien told you not to mess with my stuff. Okay, anyway, heading upstairs. This is where all the fun happens. This is the extractor. Uh, two lighting sources here. One on the balconies, which are just redstone lamps. And then we have skylights. Also with lamps to let in even more light when it's nighttime and rainy, like it is now. Anyway, the extractor. We, are he we here at Full of the Lulls heat squid with a passion, so I'm going to demonstrate it with squid. First, you close the crushers, and slowly whatever mob you drop in there will suffocate to death, which the squid just did. Open those up, and you can see their drop, in this case, um, ink. Don't ask me how that fits into the rainbow, it just does. Deal with it. And then when you open the trapdoors underneath, they all go down the chute. And to the sorter, and then the compressors, and then the uh, then they get combined into the rainbow and then stored, and then pumped into the clouds, you know, etc. etc. This works with any mob as long as it fits in the uh, thing. Some are louder than others at dying. And there they go. So yeah, that is the completed Rainbow Factory. I had a lot of fun with this. Again, I'm not sure what build I'm going to make after this. But I look forward uh, to seeing you in whatever I make 
next. Nope, wrong one, this one. So yeah, I hope you all had a good Halloween and I will see you next time.